Hi friends, it's Deanna here today and today I'm coming to you to talk to you a little bit about my cover stitch. I just wanted to give you a little overview and show you how it works, how to thread it and how easy it is to hem on a cover stitch if you were interested or if you have the same cover stitch and you had some questions. Um, so I hope I can answer some of those questions for you today. All right, so the cover stitch I have is a Brother cover stitch, a Pace Setter 2440 CV. But I know that a lot of them are very uh, compatible. They kind of look a lot like the same and they have a lot of the same features. Um, so today I'm just gonna show you how to thread it and I'm gonna show you a couple things and I'm gonna show you how I use it, just a simple overview. Okay, so first off, I have some blue thread on here because that is what I did with my top. I used some blue and light blue thread on it when I was hemming it. I used the two colors just because I thought it was kind of fun, kind of matching the two different colors that are on my top. And then, but the next project I'm working on, I want to use white. I don't want to use this color. Now, when you turn it on, you'll have that light on there, but you're supposed to thread it without the light on just so it doesn't accidentally kick on and hurt your finger or um, make the needle go through your finger or something. Um, so the first thing is we always, with this um, cert, um, cover stitch, we start on the right and we use our... Um, do our looper first and then we do our regular threads and we'll start from the left when we go through our threads and go to the right which is different than what you usually do with a serger. Now talking about thread for my looper as I do for my serger I usually use a nice um, uh, what do you call it a uh, woolly nylon kind of thread and that kind of helps threading in the back to give it a little bit more fullness on, on the uh, garment. You don't necessarily have to use that, um, but I just like to do it. And then for the, um, right for the thread, the two other ones, I just use regular thread needle, regular uh, thread, <laughs> thread needle, regular thread. So we're gonna go ahead and take that thread off. And so I'll just go ahead and cut the thread, move them out of the way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the tension down, the tension release, and pull that thread out. And I missed one. I didn't grab all of them. So I'm going to pull that down and pull it. Slippery thread. And there it comes out. Remember, my foot has to be up. Here's my little lever that pulls my foot up to do it. Now, I like the look of the two... Um, needles and it comes this one comes uh with three so you can use uh, you can do a three stitch or you can do a two stitch and so i am doing a two stitch okay and what i did is i use there it comes with a little um wrench and it you can remove that needle now if you only want to do two you want to remove that needle on the far right so that's the one I removed to keep the two needles on the side. So you go from this side, from the left side to the right. So you're going to remove the needle on the right. Um, if you want the three, then you can just obviously leave it on there. But I removed that last one because I just want the two. Okay, so now to go ahead and thread it. We're going to start, like I said, with your looper over here on the right. To begin you have your numbers one and two let me pull this down a little bit one and two and three and four so we're gonna put that one the woolly nylon right there and we go through the one which is just the main hole and then the two which is just you go from the back and come through the front so you go behind it and come around I'm gonna pull it back up then there's this little eye right here you go through right there through the eye and go number three, pull the tension down number four, and then down number five. Then we've got the numbers right here. There's a chart, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, um, 11, 12, and 13. And it's all blue, which is signals to this blue color right here. I like that it's color coordinated. So here we go. So we did five already. Number six goes behind this little thing right here, number six. Seven, there's this little uh, bouncy little thing and you will put it behind, seven. Eight, we go around the whole circle and we get right through it. So we end up right through the middle of that little loop-de-loop. -loop. So you're just going straight. So if you just wanted to pull it straight, you can just go right straight through it. Uh, nine, 
we're gonna go right there's a hole right here on this one right here and we're just gonna go right through it make sure that your thread doesn't get tangled as you're going around it um you want to make sure that it's straight see sometimes it likes to loop can you see it it's kind of looped around if you pull it looped it's going to go towards the front and it's going to get stuck so you got to make sure that you pull that to the back so it's straight through and that's a big mistake sometimes it happens and then my thread won't go so i'm trying to sew and do my cover stitch and it's not working and it's because it loops weird right there then we go behind it now as you see um, the next steps uh, 11 will be there is this little circle right here you pull that forward and it releases your needle right there and so then we just go right onto it from behind you go right into that thread right there that loop and then we're gonna we're gonna thread it right here at the needle and i use this little handy ply uh i say pliers but handy tweezers that come with it and we pull it from the back once that's done i'm gonna pull my tension down again and pull it and then I'm going to uh, push this foot up and it locks in place. So that bottom one is ready to rock and roll. We just have to do your top, your needle. I'm gonna start with the one on the left. So we're gonna go ahead and place it right there on the first number one, go through from the back. Number two, go down from the back and over. Okay, and we're gonna do the same for the other one. Though we're do them in order, I just wanna go ahead and do this top section first so that you can see that first before we move on. Now, if you had a third one, you would go ahead and here you would put your third one, but I don't, I'm only using these two. Then after I go from there, I'm gonna go with the first one, I'm gonna move on to number three, which just goes right under that. Um, and then the tension release, you push it four and we go down. All right, so here is number five. I like that it's got the marks to the yellow. You're just following the yellow line up and around all the way down you stay on this side the yellow mark is on this side of this little notch so you're gonna stay on this side we come around i'm gonna use my handy dandy tweezers and i'm gonna go there's a plaque right here there's holes on this there's a screw right here on the left side of the screw there's one area where you can put this one right to fit right in there and then on the left side of the screw there's two little areas for the two other threads then we're gonna go behind this little bar right here that kind of looks like a roller coaster bar, you know, that keeps you in place when you're going on the roller coaster. It's just keeping that thread in place. And we're gonna go ahead and thread this one on the far left needle. And we're just pulling it through. Make sure when you're pulling it through, your needle goes straight. Your thread goes straight through the needle because sometimes it tries to loop around the needle and it gets all tangled up and then it doesn't work that great when you're going around. We're going to the second uh, needle thread. We're gonna go three, four, five. We're coming around again, up, over. We're gonna stay still on this side. If you're doing, when you're doing the number three, if you're gonna do the third thread, you're gonna do around and we're gonna go on this, on the right side of this little latch right here. But this time we're still going on the left and we're gonna go behind now towards the left again now because the, it's on the left of the screw, I mean, sorry, the right of the screw and we'll go behind it and place it right in there. You go behind our roller coaster uh, uh, bar, and then we go to the second one. And now this little one is not wanting to thread. Do you have a hard time threading your machine? Not all the time, not usually, but this one is like, you know how it gets all like spread out and weird and it doesn't want to thread? There we go. Again, make sure when you pull it back that you pull these forward and you kind of keep it straight as it's going through because it's gonna wanna loop. Okay, now we're gonna go over to our handle right here. We're gonna turn it, our wheel, make sure that our thread goes under. And I'm gonna use this, the one flat side of the tweezers and go under and so I can pull my thread from underneath. So now I've got this thread under my foot and it's ready and they're all ready to go ahead and and um so see here's my looper 
and here's my other ones and I pull them all the way to the back. One of the things that people ask me all the time about is my tension and usually I keep it at about a five. All of them I keep at about a five and I don't really change it for much of anything and it works just great. So that's what I usually keep it on because I know I know uh, people have asked me about that. Um, also on the, on, the, on the cover stitch, I really like that there's these little lines right here where it shows you like different measurements, okay? Like um, half an inch, uh, it's usually flushed with the pedal or an inch or whatever. Um, if you don't know what they are, look at your manual because they're all might be a little bit different. So you wanna look at your manual and it shows you what they are. If you don't have your manual, and I don't have my, uh, actually don't have my ruler right here with me, you can grab your ruler and you can measure from where your needle is, which is that middle plaque right there. You measure out and see what the measurements are for each one of these lines. And what you can do is, I've done it before, I usually do it on my sewing machine because my sewing machine doesn't have lines. I use a little marker and I write down uh, and I show myself where each line is and what it is. Usually for a half an inch, I come right almost to the edge right here to this last uh, line on the on the knee, on the plaque. And I'm gonna show you that when I go ahead and show you how I'm gonna um, top stitch my skirt. All right, so I've got my skirt ready and I just kind of eyeballed that half an inch hem. Um, I probably should have done a better job at doing it since I'm showing you how to do it. Um, I probably should have been more um, careful with it, but that's what I did. And usually, like I said, half an inch to me comes like right at the edge of the foot. So what is really cool thing about that is that you can keep an eye on the actual foot. You don't have to keep an eye on the needle. But what I like to do sometimes is I like to put my finger right here on the front so I can feel where my seam is and I can watch it go right under um, those needles. And I'm just hitting my, my foot, my pedal, sorry, um, very lightly and it's just going all the way around and I'm just kind of keeping it straight right here as I'm sewing. And then, as you can see, there is my top stitch. I love that it's got the fuzziness um, of the in the back, which is what the uh, woolly nylon gives it. And then in the front, it's got those two lines. As you can see, I'm gonna finish up and then I'll show them really close up to you. All right, I am back almost to where I started. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up. And I try to run right over that same those same ones that I, ran over when I started. Um, so now that I'm right there, I'm going to lift up. First off, actually, I'm gonna turn my wheel till my needles are all the way as far up as they will go. So now they're as far as up to, as they will go. And then I'm gonna go ahead and lift up my presser foot by lifting that little handle up on the side. I'm gonna hold down my tension, uh, threading tension release, and I'm going to hold actually down all three of them. I'm gonna hold down my four, usually I use my pinky, and then my uh, other two. So I've got all three, I'm holding them down and pushing them sideways so that they allowed my uh, fabric to come out. So I'm gonna pull my fabric to the back. I'm pulling it to the back, towards the back. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab where those two top threads are right here and I'm just gonna clip that close to the fabric. Then I'm gonna pull my tension of my looper. So the last one on the right is what I'm pushing down here. And I'm gonna pull back again, and that releases that, and then I can cut it. And let me trim this right here, my beginning ones. And it is done. As you can see, there is my uh, hem line. It looks gorgeous. And here's the back of it. It looks really great. And see how it's kind of fluffy. So it kind of gives it a better edging. And yeah, that is it. That is how easy it is to hem with a cover stitch. Now down here, as you can see, where is it? Right here. I did. I wasn't very good at um, measuring my hem allowance, so I just kind of folded it and eyeballed it. So that's why it does that. You can go back and kind of trim that or leave it. Really, it's up to you. Um, but if you're really, really good at measuring and take your time, then it will be great. That's it. 
All right, friends, I hope that was helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions about anything that I did. Here's my little skirt. It's a circle skirt that I'm gonna attach. This is my school cool um, dress. Um, this is the, the skirt for the school cool. And I will be attaching it to my dress. It's gonna be beautiful. But um, please let me know if you have any questions about anything that I did um, with this uh, tutorial. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you um, get a cover stitch, please let me know. I'd love to hear about it and how much you love it. Uh, please come find us on Instagram and, and Facebook so you can share your mix with us. We'd love to see them. Uh, comment, like, share, subscribe if you haven't. Um, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all next time. Bye.